so many tricks in mountain biking are just commitment. If you go for it, you'll probably land it. This one is the opposite. Commitment and courage aren't the important factors. It is just perfection. It's not coming around, it's not happening, and it's starting to like get the better of me, and I, I, I actually think I've reached my, reached my limit. Juice, I'm sorry. I'm Matt Jones, I'm a professional freestyle mountain bike rider and I'm going to be attempting three world's first tricks in a big project I'm working on which is taking me and my twin brother Jono down to Devon to see Kai Forte where he's built me a bespoke course specifically for these tricks. So I'm going to be attempting a running gain, a backflip, a backflip onto a hitching post with a front flip off and a 720 no hand to bar spin. They are the three world's first but I'm going to be exploring the whole course and doing big tricks on everything to build what I hope is going to be an epic mountain bike video. It's all getting very, very real now. We're almost at Kai's Field, but we've found the best off-roading track I've yeah. ever seen. Oh my God, go on, go, go, go. <laughs> oh, Kai just had a big flat field where we were having the vision of what the course is going to look like. This is sick. And now I'm going to see it all for the first time and see where the tricks are actually going to go down and take place. Is it quite daunting? Yeah, daunting's a good word for it. It's just serious. Like, I believe it's possible. I've imagined this stuff, I've visualised it all, but I've not put any of it together properly. There's still a lot of unknowns. And I'm going down there now with a very, very limited window of filming to actually land the tricks. Not just attempt them, land them. And that's what's stressing me out. Crashing's not an option. It's crunch time, isn't it? Yeah, it's all go. OK, next stop, Kai's Field. No way. Oh, my word. There's jumps everywhere. Look at the hitching post. Holy <laughs> Platform at the top. Ah, oh, this is awesome. The logs are so high. The last jump's enormous. Hi. Hi, oh, dude. Hello, mate. You all right? Yeah. You've Sweet. been so busy. Yeah. Cheers. How are you doing? What do you reckon? I've never seen anything like it. It's because of how we came here last time and how it was to how it is now. Yeah, it's all come to life. Yeah, changed a bit, isn't it? Yeah. What do you reckon, Matt? It's made it really real seeing the, that drop. It's not bigger than I thought, but it's just so exposed. I don't know whether to smile or myself, really. <laughs> Mate, it's what you wanted. Well, I hope it's what you wanted. It's exactly what I asked <laughs> yeah. for. It was all a bit safer in my head. So this is where we're hoping the whole video is going to start with the running gainer off of this platform. Pretty much the exact same size as what I've been training. So I'm hoping it will just transfer to this, but there is no like option to not do it first try. Whereas sometimes it takes me like 15 goes to land the first one of the day. So that's why I'm so nervous. The posts are massive. I guess without yeah. the takeoff there, they do look bigger, but... They're pretty monolithic, aren't they? <laughs> so this is my first time seeing those two logs, for real. Kai sent me some photos, and that was originally what I was calling the hitching post. In frames of mind, when I flipped onto a log, it was a hitching post backflip. We sort of adapted the idea so I can land on top of two things and leave a gap in between to fire my back wheel through, get momentum and front flip off the other side. That's the one thing that petrifies me. The idea of landing it gets me excited, but right now it's just like only really fear and doubt, to be honest. Pretty high. It's cool, though. I'll be happy just to get up here with a backflip. Looking down the hill is even worse. Doesn't that one look fun? That's exactly the shape takeoff I have in my compound. I sent Kai all the dimensions. I thought we'd got it wrong because it was so big when we built it. Yeah, but you rang me and you said, yeah, Are you sure? Are you sure, yeah. But no, nah, it's what, yeah. Look. Bang on. 2.5 metres. This is where it's all going to go down. Win, lose or draw. I've got a course. I've got all the tools I need. I've done the training. And now it's go time. Need to get into it. And then at some point, we're going straight in the deep end with those three big world's firsts. So today is day one of filming at Kai's Field. And 
It's been quite a drawn out process with this project because COVID-19 put an immediate stop to the course build, me training, everything went into lockdown and now we're out the back of that kind of, so we're still on a bit of a skeleton crew, people are kind of respecting the rules but everyone's here in the field and we can sort of cooperate properly and make this happen which is cool. The one thing I want to nail first is the gainer off of the top platform so we're going to begin with that. I'm pretty nervous about it but I think to tick that box and like one third of all the world's first on day one would be pretty big for me. Yesterday we built a big platform down the bottom to do that trick onto my airbag which went really well. I actually rode out of one for the first time. I've done hundreds and that was the first time I've ridden off the end of the airbag. Like going to bed last night, I felt pretty good about it. And I'm quite keen just to get going and get up there. The more I think about it, nothing's going to change. Like I've done one, the evidence is there, it works. I just need to do it to dirt to claim it as a world's first. So this morning we've made a few last minute alterations to the jump by moving the landing further in because I've measured where I landed on the airbag and this was a little bit long. We've sort of fluffed it up and then repatted it so it's nice and smooth. But if I do crash, it will have a little bit of give and softness, which all helps me mentally to know that I'm going to land at the top of that landing, hopefully. Do some more. <laughs> got it, man. Oh, it's so far down. Ah, oh, I was well into it then, but obviously not. Ah, oh. so Matt's been up on the platform for quite a while now. I think it's all getting quite a lot for him. He doesn't have the airbag, that safety net underneath him anymore to sort of give him a bit of protection. It's really, really crunch time. I'm not doing it now. No. He's pretty nervous. He's had a few run-ins and sort of stalling at the end, and it's. It's, I think it's building up in his head that this is it and he really has to do it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Oh, mate, my hand just got really sweaty in those 10 seconds. That's <laughs> insane, isn't it? Come on, Matt. You've got this. You have got it, mate. Go on, boy. I've made up. I had to put myself in a right state to do that. That feels mega. The trick itself is like sheer pure hell, but landing it, riding down the bottom of the hill, just feels unbelievable. It's fair to say I've never worked consistently this hard for anything, especially not a mountain bike trick that lasts a second. Yeah, like as a reward for so much work, it's perfect. Like it feels amazing. That one second was worth all the crashing, all the chaos, looking like a clown back at the swimming pool. It's all kind of come full circle now and I'm, I'm so stoked about it. What a trick. Last week was mega, like doing double flips, linking all these new jumps together, jumping over a car and then obviously the gainer was amazing. Like I put my mind to a trick that's never been done and pulled it off. Get on! Today, I'm going to be attempting the hitching post trick for real. Back flip on, front flip off. I've done all of those ingredients here in training. So now it's about combining them and doing it onto the real dirt landing. We've adjusted so many elements of this, the heights of things, the steepness of the ramp, the gaps. It's going to be a long day. There's going to be a process of building up to doing it for real, but everything's in place. So I've got everything crossed for this one. This would be big. I've tried quite a few now. In fact, I mean, I've tried a lot more than I anticipated. And I thought that 
the backflip would kind of be the easy part, having done it before. But actually, it's it's everything. Getting the balance and my weight position correctly determines whether I can even throw the front flip. This is an absolute game of inches and one that I thought would come more naturally, but actually I think it's just going to take so, 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 so many goes for the stars to align really. So we've taken a chunk out of the log now so that Matt's got the room to swing his back wheel through and do the front flip, but the back flip on, he can do pretty much every time, lands on his feet either side of the hole. But now that new world's first element, the front flip off, he just hasn't even been able to practice it once because he can't get the bike to swing through that gap. He's getting pretty knackered, pretty beat up. I don't know, it's just a bit of a weird atmosphere, to be honest. It's pretty horrible for me to see him like this. He sort of feels a bit defeated and he's not really sure how he can move forwards from this. All day I've been struggling with a few things. One being my balance point. I'm always lent too far forwards and the bike is dragging me off the logs. So what we've done is we've angled them back by hammering some wooden like chocks underneath. That's really allowed me to put my weight through them and not carry on. Did a couple of really good ones. Yes. Yo, well done. Which means that I can do the front flip. In the last hour, I've gone from being defeatist to being optimistic, which is cool. I didn't want to end the day feeling negative. That'll be the one. Yes, that is brilliant. It's going to be on and we're going to bring it home. Good to see you smiling, boy. Cheers, mate. We're at the start of a new day today and it's super important because the crash mats are coming away from the hitching post. I'm now in the position to pull this trick and land it. It's just super daunting. So the two good front flips I did came really close together and I've just struggled now to replicate that. So many tricks in mountain biking are just commitment. If you go for it, you'll probably land it. And that's the challenge. But this one is the opposite. Like commitment and like almost courage aren't the important factors. It is just perfection and the, the, the inches and millimeters that matter. I just can't get on the logs perfectly. And I, I know when I do, I'll be out of front flip because I've done it already. It's just not, it's not coming around, it's not happening and it's starting to like get the better of me. And I, I, f uh, just starting to find it way too, way too hard and stressful. So Matt's back training on the airbag. I think he just wanted to get back feeling like he could do the front flips again. But the first few attempts, he sort of took a step backwards. He's not getting the rotation like he was the other day. Ah, I don't know, I, I don't know what to do for him. It's been a really, really long day for Matt. He's, he's probably jumped off of that platform 80 times and he's at, honestly at his physical limit. Just climbing up there that many times would knock most people for six. It's all fallen apart. Like my ability to front flip has got worse and worse and worse throughout the day. And I'm talking eight hours of solid front flips and I've never, I just haven't pulled one. And it's been a nightmare. And without that working, without being able to call upon that muscle memory, back flipping onto the logs is pointless, really. With the last three days working on the hitching post, 
Mentally, I've completely parked the 720 Noanda to bar spin. Like, that's actually been wiped from my brain, which obviously wouldn't have get left me with three worlds first, but I, the two, the gainer and the hitching posts, were my priority. And I'm only really admitting that now to you guys and the camera. But of the three tricks I've set out upon all year, I've only landed one. To say I'm satisfied would be a lie, but every day I've just been slipping physically. I'm really bruised, I'm super sore. Every go I give it 100% and it's less and less perfect. And I, I actually think I've reached my, reached my limit. It's got to happen this trip, isn't it? Surely. Yeah, I didn't ever imagine it'd be this late in the year still driving down to Devon to do something that worked pretty good in my head. Would you say all your focus is now on this one? Solely, it's all I think about. I just visualise myself going flip, front flip, flip, front flip, and when I do it in reality, I just seem to only do a flip and land off balance or something goes wrong. That 720 trick, the 720 no-hander to bar spins, like, out of my head. Okay. I even think with the rain and stuff this time round, the field's going to be too boggy to even clear that jump, let alone trick it. So the hitching posts we can make work pretty much no matter what the weather. But I have to do it this trip. There's been hundreds of attempts already. But it's close. It be like that. Close isn't good enough. It never, I've never been excited about getting near to landing it. It gives, it, it gives me faith that it will work, but I just don't know how many attempts there, there is between me and doing it. It could be two or it could be a thousand. But you believe it's possible? Yeah, I know it is. I know it is. So I'm back in Devon and I've taken a bit of time away from here to work on this trick, on the hitching post. A lot of things have changed. The weather's got way worse, so the field's pretty waterlogged which brings a challenge of how muddy and clayey the ground is here. It's so sticky. So plywood's the first answer to that, riding on a consistent surface which we can dry with a gas torch. The second advantage is we've built a roll in which gives me consistent speed. Previously, a couple of weeks ago, I was starting up the hill and just rolling in on the dirt. Even though you feel that you're going the same speed, this is a game of inches, I need to be millimetre perfect. But actually, the biggest asset and the biggest help is to make the logs higher. So they've gone up 50 centimetres, giving me half a metre more of falling time. So we're going to tackle it today, head on, and I want to get this thing done. His whole mind is on this trick, like there's nothing else that matters. He knows that the height change and the more time in the air is going to help him get round. It's just the risk of throwing the front flip now. From a bigger height, maybe he'll land on his tyres, but it's a long way to fall. That is it's probably a good 15 foot down to where he's going to land. I'm sorry. Right, oh, no! Yes, mate. It is actually going to happen. I'm certain it's going to happen. Matt's just throwing it off the log to tyres, feet on the pedals. He crashed because his weight was sort of off centre with all the compression. I don't think anyone knew how hard he'd be landing. Pretty savage how much went through his arms and he ended up sitting on his tire and sort of going over the handlebars. But if he can just do that again and not crash, we're done. This has been weeks to get to this point and now there's consistency in the front flip. It's actually going to happen. Like, it is going to happen. We're all buzzing. I can't wait. Finally, 
We were nearing 300 attempts. I thought it was more. It certainly feels like more. As I've sort of explained before, the front flip feels like it's one in 100. So over all these attempts, I've done six front flips. And then, in five minutes, I did six in a row and landed the six. And I, I'll never know to this, I'll never ever know why. That one second in that front flip, when I knew my feet were on the pedals, I knew I'd snapped and popped as hard as I could. And I knew if I hold on, it will work. And just bouncing, riding out past the camera was like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what, I dread to think what noises I was making. I'll be quite embarrassed to watch that back, I think. As a slope star rider, that's everything for me. Not just that trick, but progression, breaking new ground and doing things that even I thought were impossible. Building the setup, tweaking it, changing it, discovering what's going to work and then executing it. I've had that buzz before, but never like this one. I've never, I've never worked so hard on anything in my life. And like I said, I was, I was very often up for quitting, but I didn't and proving the pudding, it works, buzzing.